right, we're back. Sorry about that brief, that swift interruption. But look at that trophy. Look at it. It's fantastic. You're really leaving, Captain? Shouldn't you heal up first? Hmm. Yuna needs me with her now. I can't be lying around in some bed. Yeah. Yeah, but... Come on, look sharp! The blitz season just started. Don't make those faces, yeah? He's right. I mean, look at the trophy, guys. It's awesome. It does nothing for the game except for inflate our pride and egos. Well, see ya, boys. <clears throat> you be good. Um, uh, I can't hear you. Captain! I wonder who's the new captain now. Kind of just left that one open, didn't he? Oh, well. Are you sure? Never liked long goodbyes anyway. Yeah. Sorry for making you wait, Yuna. I have some promises to keep, yeah? Yeah. From now on, I'm your full-time guardian. Yeah, no more backsliding. Then welcome back, Sir Waka. <laughs> Good to have you with us. Hey, it's good to be back, yeah? Yeah, especially after getting ball slapped like that, man. These people raped you. But it's nice that you got over it. So, any news on what happened? Not really. Hmm. We don't know where the fiends came from. Maester Micah is safe and sound, thanks to Maester Seymour. Oh, That's good. about it. Two fine fellows, those maesters. Maester Seymour's Aeon. It was so powerful. True, but don't say it like that, Yuna. Goodness. People start to get ideas. Hey, you! Don't just stand there! All of this is your fault! Getting swallowed by Sin, ending up here in Spira, not being able to go back to Xanarkin, everything, everything! I'm telling you, it's all your fault! What? And that's how Orin. This is Orin's breakfast, so it Who doesn't bother him. Anyway, you knew my old man, didn't you? Yeah. And you also knew Yuna's father. That's correct. Hmm. Hey, man, there's no way. That's just impossible. Nothing impossible about it. True. Jacked, Braska, and I. Together, we defeated Sin ten years ago. Then I went to Xanarkand, where I watched over you. So that one day, I could bring you to Spira. Why did it have to be me? Yeah. Jack asked me to. Huh? Is he alive? It depends on what you mean by alive. Still breathing, heart beating, and all that good stuff. Why do you ask? He is no longer human. But then, I felt something object there in that shell. Couldn't you? Huh? You must have felt him when you came in contact with Sin. What? It can't be. Uh oh. What? What can't be? Don't leave me in suspense. It is. Sin is checked. Bum bum bum. Uh, no, that's ridiculous. No way. I don't believe you. But it is the truth. You'll see for yourself. Come with me. If I say no? Every story must have an ending. True. I don't care about your stories!
I see. I'm sorry you feel that way. Fine, then. Come or don't come, it's your decision. What am I supposed to say? You tell me it's my decision. But I don't have a choice, do I? You're the only one who can tell me what's going on anyways. Mm -hmm. I have to go with you. I have to. Sucks, didn't it, man? Irritating. I know. Hmm. Or are you afraid? <laughs> no, he's not afraid. He is irritating. It's all right. I'm going to offer my services to you now. Come. All right, folks. Now it's time for, you guessed it, another story fan rant. Now, let's take a look at the story so far. <clears throat> Titus start off as Anakin, taken, away from, uh, taken from Zanakin, end up in Spira, met strange people, well, almost got eaten by fish, then met strange people, then he wound up on a boat. On said boat, he talked to a friend, he talked to a nice girl named Riku, then all of a sudden ran into Sin again, ended up on an island. On an island, he met an interesting, interesting group of people called the Besaidorans and Waka. And after meeting those people, he went, and after meeting those people, they took him on the boat. On another boat, and on said boat, they made their way to Kilika. But before they got to Kilika, they ran into they went, ran into Sin yet again, and Sin pretty much wrecked everyone. Everyone more interested in Blitzball than what happened, thanks to Yuna sending. You know, and we went on another boat. From that boat, we went to Luca. But on the way to Luca, we had confrontations with our dad in our dreams, and we learned the Jack shot. In Luca, we kicked ass, unmitigated ass, in Blitzball. And then we find out that, oh wait, I'm sorry, before all that, before the Blitzball thing, Yuna was kidnapped because nobody was watching her apparently. Well, yeah, nobody was watching her apparently. I don't see how she left, how Wolf and Mari messed up, but it happened. Went out and rescued Yuna. And then, we went, and then we kicked the mitigated ass in Blitzball. And then, monster, and then things come along. Seymour has, it has severe debates about union, unions and unions and things and whatnot, and that's just a big no-no in spirit. After all that, we run into, well, yeah. And then Oren tells us that our dad has been the great monster destroying the entire, or wreaking havoc on the entire planet. Now, whew, finally, more character development for Titus. If any of you have not, if none of this has moved any of you to understand why Titus is upset, then you just don't get the, then you either just are bent on not liking Titus, or you're just being a complete teabag about it. His father, the guy who he has issues with, has just been found, has just been revealed to be the great destroyer of an entire people. Now granted, he had issues with his dad, and he didn't, and he had his own valid reasons for disliking him. He didn't necessarily think his dad a murderer, you know, anything like that. So, you're telling him that, that's, that's obviously going to upset him. You, not to mention the simple fact he wants to go home. At the very beginning of all of this, he was kidnapped. Sure, Sin showed up in the very beginning as well, but still, what started this story for Titus was the simple fact that he kept, went away from Xanakin. The boy is homesick, and so, who wouldn't be at this point? I mean, the boy has been holding, the, holding himself together seriously by a razor's edge, and then all of a sudden you find out all this crazy stuff about his dad, so what does that make him? The son of the man who's the son of the thing that's been murderously destroying everybody? Of course he's upset. Of course there's gonna be hard issues accepting all of this. It's to be understood. Not to mention it's just kind of how JRPGs go. They, they like to go for the tragic in, 
emotional stuff. If this doesn't tug your heartstrings, you're, you, you're just, like I said earlier, you're just bent on not liking Titus for whatever reason. Now, you can just not like his voice actor, which I think is actually appropriate for his character, because he has highs, lows, serious, goofy, relaxed, and in intense state of mind, unlike most characters who are rather monotone, like Lulu. But even still, not saying anything against Lulu, don't, don't get me wrong on that, but if you pay attention to how Lulu talks in the story and pay attention to how Titus talks in the story, Lulu is pretty much just straightforward, how you see how you meet her is how she's gonna end. How we meet Titus is not how he's gonna end. There's a lot of growth that goes through him. But once again, don't take this as the other as any of the other characters of Bland or anything like that. There's depth to them, to them as well. But we spend the majority of our time with Titus. As such, it is good that he has such a wild and varied personality, so we learn more about him. But anyway, I've ranted on for about four or five minutes about this but just want to get the you know it just you all know you all know me by now it really irks me how folks just review how folks just talk about this game they seem to just not like Titus due to the fact as far as I'm concerned just his voice because any everything else he said so far is completely legitimate I mean you get trashed you find out such such crazy things about your dad and all this stuff you, you really don't how do you cope with that how do you how, how is he how is he being a whine a whiner a whiny petulant douchebag when all this stuff is happening around him I want I, I want to know how someone else would take it how how would you take it any better I hope those fiends are coming are the, I hope those fiends are in the harbinger of sins coming yeah, that would be bad. The Oryx won the tournament. It must be some kind of mistake. I agree. The authorities should drop the Fiend investigation and look into this first. Excuse me? How do you... <laughs> you all saw the video. That was some... That was high class. You know what? Screw you people. Screw you both. My buddy's in critical condition after being attacked by a Fiend. Damn it. It sucks, doesn't it? Hey, no. The Crusaders are devi devising a sacrilegious operation. I hear they may be coll collaborating with the Alvin. Really? Really? Excuse me. That's interesting to know. Especially considering how everyone, how the, how you haven't feels about the Alvin. Things attack. So what? Big deal. Everyone soon forget about it. Everyone soon forget about it. I can pack themselves up this ball. Can't wait to next. Can't wait to next year's tournament. Didn't Waka just say the tournament has just begun? The season just begun? Huh. I guess they have championships in the beginning of the season. That's interesting. Hey, this is the first time I've ever seen the Orcs win. <laughs> that must be life altering for you. Glory be to Maester Seymour Zayon for keeping destruction to a minimum. A blessing from Yevon indeed. Huh. Yeah, that is interesting. Huh. For some reason, you ever reminds me of something of an LP I'm watching right now, but... I don't know exactly what it is. You ever Eva? I don't know, I must be saying that. Oh. Um, the Oryx really improved, really improved this year, but their success was overshadowed by the Fiend incident. Damn! Come on, folks! 23 year losing streak winning by two points. Come on, you gotta, you can't forget that. Oh man. The power of Maester Seymour Zeon was incredible. I can see why he was appointed a Maester at such a young age. I know, I mean, he has to be. I mean, you saw how that was powerful. I mean, he must. I mean, only good people are given that much power. You know, bad people and such things. No, not so much. Now time for our interview. Did you do you know anything about the fiend incident in the stadium? We have so few facts we can't write up any any feature yet. I've been I've been interviewing eyewitnesses, but nobody seems to know a thing. Oh yes, congratulations. I have a lot more respect for the orcs now. What about my interview? You trifling, B. 
You filthy rug munching. Hey, congratulations. I got everything on Sphere. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that the Sadarites would win the cup. Well, that's something, I guess. I can't believe this. Cock goblin.